Hi, I'm Andrea Lillo from HFN, and I'm here with Christopher Grubb of Arc Interiors Design Group, and we're here to talk about small spaces, which is a huge trend right now. Um, Christopher, I live in New York City, so I am familiar with small spaces, oh, yeah. and you, you, I know you're like the expert in small space design, so can you talk a little bit about you know, how this trend has come about and why it's important now? Well, what's really interesting, because a lot of my clients do have big spaces, I get to do both, um, and I think, you know, millennials are moving into the city, which we know, baby boomers are downsizing, mm -hmm. um, they don't want the maintenance, the baby boomers aren't feeling like they're sacrificing to have a smaller space, or it's excuse me, the millennials, yeah. right. because they want an experience. Um, but, you know, it's 70% of the world's going to be living in cities and smaller spaces by 2050. That's crazy. It's Isn't amazing. It crazy? Yeah. I know. And so addressing this now and manufacturers and, you know, we spoke earlier about builders in America are 70% of the homes are still over three bedrooms. Yeah, so they're amazing. missing out on this opportunity, and there's, I think there's going to, of course, there's going to be a big shift. They have to meet the market. So. Right, and the builders haven't caught up with what the, what the market's going, where it's going. Absolutely, absolutely. So obviously, people have to get on board pretty quickly. Yeah, it's developers, they'll catch on. You know, so. <laughs> and so what about, are there any particular tips that you would give for a small space if you if someone's moving into a new new space? Oh, yeah. Well, it's definitely, you know, I love multifunctional furniture. Mm -hmm. Um, it can be a side table with a slide out shelf. Um, I like doing coffee tables that have two shelves so you have extra underneath. Right. Um, and if you can, bookcases, anything touching the floor, if you can do shelves on the wall versus a big bookcase, right. if you want it in the dining area, put a, a cantilever buffet. Anytime the flooring can go underneath it, it fools your eye, it's bigger. Um, and so those are some things that I, I like to do. Even coffee tables with slide out drawers. Right, right. Um, so sneaky storage. Sneaky right? storage. <laughs> I like that. Can I use that? Absolutely. And, and even dining areas. There's so many fantastic tables that expand. So if you have two club chairs in your sitting area, don't buy an extra two dining chairs. Bring those in and use them. Right. And again, it's this great multifunction uh, of the space. And, and also design-wise, it keeps it exciting that you're moving furniture around. So. Absolutely. But isn't it so interesting how both millennials and baby boomers are basically going to the same they, they need the same thing with smaller spaces. So yeah. That's a, you know, I don't know about the Gen Xers. I guess those are those are people who are doing. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> but the three bedrooms. I have a little home. house. I have a little house. She has the three bedroom. I no, I don't. Two. <laughs> I'm New two York bedroom City. short. Yeah. Two, yeah. Yeah. City, two bedrooms. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's like that's interesting that you can hit so much of the market still with a small st uh, space trend. Well, and big box, you know. Um, Pottery Barn is doing apartment and their stuff yeah. is 30% smaller. In the show here, I am seeing a lot more pieces that are addressing this. Absolutely, from day beds that go to um, you know actual full-size, queen-size beds, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It, it's, it's, it's really incredible. So the furniture manufacturers are being aware of it even more. They're catching right. up with it um, in a really strong way. And even in a big space, some of these pieces are ideal. Because not everything has to fill the room. You know, right. It could be a great little accent and its own piece of art, too. Right, so, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Those are great tips. Thank you so much thank for you. joining thank us. Thank you for having me. Thank uh, you. And thank you for joining us at HFN.